here's a large roundabout at Quartieria on the entrance coming into town. This is where everything seems to be happening. Atlantic Avenue down here. So we're just arriving in Quartiera, but it's already looking fantastic. Another beach. Where are we today, Tim? We are in Guatiria yeah. and we are actually at the Praia Rosa Branca, which I think is beach of maybe red and white. Were you reading that, Tina, on this big sign over here? I or were you, did you know where you were? <laughs> I was trying to impress you, Norm. I'm very <laughs> impressed, always. So, here we are in Quatera, and it was the very first developed resort on the Algarve. So it is one of the older resort towns and um, still got a great beach and it's well located, it's not far from the airport. So we're going to give it a little explore, aren't we Tim? We have, yes we are and one thing we've noticed is that it looks flat. So very easy to walk along the promenade here. Yeah, we don't like those hills do we? Uh, no, so we're having a rest from hills so we're walking along the flat today. So here we are in Quatera. It's a twin town to Villanova. So more on that later. So let's get across the road and we'll go and explore the town centre. Yeah. Love all these little quaint cafes, restaurants on the seafront. Oh, oh fresh we, fish. We've got fish here. Ooh. So you just go pick what you want and they'll cook it up for you. Walking away from the seafront now, Tina. Yeah, and I can see, I think, the fish market over there. Oh, yeah. And a dinky little car. Oh, yeah. So this is the municipal market, Tina. Blue and white building. It's fruit and vegetables and there's some Probably fish further fish. down. Yeah, it looks like they've got some of the blue and white tiles on the outside. So let's go take a look. Okay. I love these traditional buildings. Portugal is one of the few countries that really do have operational markets still left that aren't just the tourism. Wow. Quite big, isn't it? Fresh oranges, like local produce and nuts. Yeah, and potatoes. Lemons. Ooh. I love these tomatoes that are <laughs> like huge, aren't they? Yeah, sort of almost like reject shape. <laughs> We're turning on to one of the main shopping streets in the old town. Oh, this is looking kind of pretty. So now we're leaving the market area and the ocean behind. Yeah, heading more in. into the shopping area. Into Once again, we just love these cobbled streets. They're either tiles, cobbles, but they nearly everybody seems to have nice patterns on them. And again, little coffee shops. And there's some apartments above the shops. And, and street cafes. The nice thing about Quartiera is that they also have a lot of historical photographs around. I don't know if you've noticed that, Tim. Yeah, they sort of kind of. Just on the, there were some at the seafront there. Yeah, on the, and it's on kind the of showing you what was here oh, some like years ago. Yeah. So and you it, can see there. So this is what we were talking about where they've taken historical photographs and just put them on a sign in the middle of a square in the middle of the town. Are we continue to explore? Yeah. There's a, a restaurant here, so I wonder how much does it cost to eat in Quartiera? So I see we've got dishes of the day here about $7.90 or we've got grilled sea bass $8.50. Calamari um, grilled $7.90. Yeah, so I guess all the main dish is all around eight euros. Yeah, this is quite pretty. 
Yeah. Look at those beautiful trees. I know. I, I'm not sure what they are, really. But they're pretty stunning against the blue. They are, aren't they? Against that blue sky. More street cafes. The, the, uh, they've put benches here for people to sit down. Yeah, it's kind of nice here. Kinda Enjoy the sunshine. I notice there's an abundance of ATM machines around here, so yeah. if you run out of money, you're good to good go and get yeah. some more. <laughs> it's nice to explore, isn't it? It these, is very nice. Towns. And if you do come here, they do have everything that you're going to need. There's great selections of uh, restaurants, bars, apartments. Yep. And if see. you go slightly on the edge of town, some great golf courses as well. Yeah, it is almost like a little city feel, hey? Oh, we can get some pizzas here. Deep pan pizza. Yeah, got a translation in English here for That's us. That's handy, so you Create could get your own pizza. small, medium and family. So you're looking at a small pizza anywhere around 10 euros, medium, 12 to 14 and a family, family. 14 inch. About Probably 20 to 25 20, yeah. euros. So here's some street signs in Quatira and they have these cool advertising kiosk things here that look very Parisian, doesn't it? It, it does, I was just thinking that. And there's the local bus going. So it really is quite the architecture they have here in Quatira. I love these rounded shapes of the apartment buildings. Tina thinks I should be filming these pretty little plants that look like a succulent and then they're just they're just growing on the beach just at the edge of the beach so you have the ocean in the background so this is what we like about here it's flat yeah and we can just walk along there's a great promenade running right along by the beach and you can see Sea. the sand and sea just over here very relaxing yeah we've got this marvelous paved area to walk along lined with palm trees it's just a very pleasant resort town very lined by the ocean just shows you the extent of the width of the paved area to walk on and if you notice yet again there's very little people here and when you think we're in the middle of march now it's really surprising even for the winter season. It's and and the temperature quiet. today was 20 degrees C, but it's feeling a more lot like, warmer. Yeah, more like 24, 25, just beautiful. So Tina wants to have the sign for the family album, Praia de Quartera. Oh, are you getting that perfect angle? Yeah. Oh, good. Oops. Another advantage to Quartera is? Wi-Fi. What type of Wi-Fi? Free. Even better. So who, who could possibly survive a vacation with no Wi-Fi? So here in Quartier, you have free Wi-Fi. That's our day out in Quartier. What do you think of that team? I think it has been a great day. Really enjoyed it. It's kind of similar to Armaco de Pere with it being flat. Yeah, makes it very enjoyable just walking along the beach. and Where, um, where you can get off the seafront, the promenade onto the beach without having to go down hundreds of steps. And very nice. And we did see a gentleman who just caught a lot of fresh mackerel. That was nice to see. Yeah, right off the beach. That was great. So, yeah, it's... Another one to put on your list, there's, uh, there's Villa Mora next door, which is just a couple of minute car ride away from here, which is a modern marina development, sort of a new city. And then you have this, which is one of the older established resorts of um, the Algarve. Yeah, which, and they all just have their own special things, don't they? Special charm. Yeah, special charm. So we hope you've enjoyed coming along with us. And thanks for being with us. Yeah.